So I had a little bit of change of view, so there's this, it's off to the side. Over here, these are the cubes that I've already done. Three cubes. Flower Minks, Shang Shell Mirror Cube, and V Cube 5. Next, for, for the Wit Eden uh, 3x3x4 mix up cube. I got this for my birthday on March 4th, 2015. So, yeah. I never um, mixed it up because. I didn't want to, the 3 by 3 by 4 I did. Um, next, the, um, uh, the, uh, something, what's it called exactly? It's the QJ Super Square one, I think. I think that's what it's called. It's, I solved it like a square one, I can't solve the middle two layers though. So annoying to turn anyway, so I would it'd be annoying to try to solve. But even when I did, it was annoying when I solved it like a square one. I can't even turn it right now. So finally, I turned it. Okay, as you can see, it's solved on the top two layers. So yeah, that is the QJ. Uh, super square one. Here's a SpongeBob picture cube. I got this in 2013 uh, uh, summer, I think, maybe 14 summer. At Mon Monkey Joe's was a prize thing, and I found it <coughs> a little while ago, sitting around somewhere. It turns very horribly. By the way, this category that I'm in right now is just random miscellaneous puzzles. There are some non WCA, some not, but none of these are cubes that I use often. Ow! Okay, that wasn't the cube I was using yet. Uh, that was just, this isn't the cube that I just hurt my finger. This is the Wit Eden 3x3 uh, mix up cube that I have solved many times. It's not too hard to solve. Pretty simple, besides like one little parody that rarely happens. So yeah, and I got this also on my birthday, March 4th, 2016. I don't know if I said 2015 for this. I meant 2016. Here's the V Cube 6. Uh, I got the bowl and that pop. Uh, I got that. The, this really pop. I, I don't know. I, I think I rarely use this. And um, so I'm going to say, okay, so yeah, I got this for Christmas 2013. And it was not my main over the Shing Shao I already had. This turns very horribly. I got it just for collection purposes. And it's not too good. So yeah, V Cube 6. V Cube 3 pillowed. This is my. Uh, it, it is my second ever cube I got at Barnes & Noble after my original oldest brand. This is in like probably May or June 2013. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I have some videos on, uh, this is uh, my earliest videos on my channel are with this cube. If you go check them out, they're not too good though. This is the non-pillow. Uh, V cube three. I got this for Christmas 2013 in the last V cube collection I got. <coughs> in here is the QJ uh, uh, skew, and here's the cap I just found in that bag. Um, my first competition, this is my backup main, which is sad because this is like the worst cube. I, I almost had to use this in the competition, but I got my new cube a few weeks ago. This is my main for many years because it's my only cube. Um, and yeah, I, the cap always pops off. Um, I did get this in Christmas 2013. And yeah, it was my only skew at that point. So yeah.
I can actually kind of turn it. It's not it's still pretty bad though. So this is the um, what's it called? It's the Mosey King Cube or something. It's a really weird bandage three by three thing, and I have never solved. <coughs> I've gotten up to last layer many times. I just never solved it. It's pretty hard. And I got it in January from Cube Depot. Um, I usually use cubicle.us, but I was I used Cube Depot for this that a long time ago. Um, and yeah, I've never solved it. It's uh, the plastic is pretty cheap. It's a pretty cheap puzzle, but it is hard to solve. Mosey King. Here is my Dino Cube. Um, I think I got it Christmas 2013, but maybe not. Maybe sometime 2013, sometime 2014, something like that. It's made by Smaz, right? You can see the logo in between. Yes, yeah, it says Smaz. Here is the <coughs> VCube 4x4. That uh, is the Black Edition one that came with my uh, VCube Black Edition collection thing that I got on Christmas 2013. So, yeah. Pretty bad. Here is a, a Calvin 4x4x6 by by that I got on Christmas Eve 2013, and I could never solve it then, I don't think. Maybe I solved it once, I'm not sure. No, I'm, I don't know if I could solve it. And anyway, I do know that I did solve it multiple times since I got back into cubing, the first time being sometime last December 2015. Yeah. And here is my cutter cube that I see. Turns pretty horribly, but I felt accomplished when I made it. It's really sandy too. I think I made this in the summer. I'm not sure. You can see a video of me making it. Uh, it might have been like spring break, actually. I think it was spring break, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm very positive it was spring break. It was spring break that I finished making this. I feel accomplished. This is my only mod I've ever made. It's very rough from turning, even though I sanded it down a lot, but I only had this little sander. That's it. And I didn't have any spray paint either, so it is kind of gray on the axis. But it is fully functional, so I am pretty happy that it does work. So yeah, I'm going to put it back in this plastic bag because it does get on sand stuff all over. Over there. Oh, I do have a few cubes that are over here. Oh, no, wait. they have to stay open. Okay. Sorry, I'm holding up this uh, blackboard over here. Um, yeah, they're going to have to stay here for most of the video. Just, just holding up the whiteboard. I can do that at the end, though, because I do have to get some of my cubes from David's, because that is, some of them are David's cubes. So, yeah, that is. You should see how many cubes are on the number should be sixteen. <coughs> and here is the super three by three by five by Calvin's puzzle. This was unsolved for a long long time. Um, I solved it sometime this year, I don't remember, probably during the summer. But when I first got it, my mom got was trying to get me the regular 3x3x5, three three but she accidentally got me this one. So, yeah, it does cool stuff like this and this, as you can see. I figured out how to solve it eventually this year. I used little, like, things that I figured, I just event I just figured it out. It was pretty hard at first, but I had to, like, make up a little method into doing all these things correctly and whatever. But it ended up working. I thought this is, this is like, the only puzzle I solved without a tutorial, because there was, like, none online. There was, like, one that I couldn't understand what it was even saying. It didn't make sense. Um, 
I didn't use that though, and the other one was in another language, so yeah. But I did end up solving it all by myself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Pick that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, seventeen, sorry, not eighteen. Just count it. Here's a DQ2. This is my name for a while. Oh, it was my actually my first two by two. I heard it was the online. I heard it was the best <coughs> during 2013. I heard online that it was the best, but it isn't. It wasn't then. It was the wood eaten. It was definitely the best. Actually, the dying came out by then, so it was the dying was the best. So yeah, but this is a, probably an okay first two by two. It is so pretty fast. It just logs like quite a bit. I think it's probably one of GQ's best puzzles they made. Um, so yeah, BQ2 Black. This is my original one. I do have another one that, um, well, I don't have it anymore. I did have another one, but I gave it to my friend Sinjin. I gave four puzzles to him. I think he originally learned how to solve the 2x2, but I don't know if he remembers anymore. V, uh, VQ2 I2. A Rubik's Strand 3x3, Rubik's Strand 4x4, and a Shang Shell 5x5. There's an M&M cube that I think I got like 2014 or something at a mall. Very slow. Originally had a lot of lube in it, but I wiped it down, I think. So it's better now, except for this side. You can tell the difference between that and this yellow side is very sluggish. But yeah, that's puzzle number 19, I believe. I mean, it might be incorrect, and I'll have it on the counter. The correct. Okay. This is the, um, the VQ 4x4, the regular one that came in the collection, <coughs> I got Christmas 2013, and I'd have to say, it has a very different feeling than the Pillowed 4x4, it, it is very fast, but it's locky, and this it makes these weird clicking sounds when it gets cut under the center, every time you hear it, and I get... I can't seem to show you in the act of having, but the center's like pop up a little bit when it comes under too fast. You see it in here? Ah, that's enough explaining. There's 20. Okay, and here's my first pyraminx. QJ pyraminx. It was better before, but, um... Multiple times I had taken these pieces out, and I had taken this in the water multiple times. <coughs> um, so I made it worse, but this is, you can see some early videos on my channel with this cube and this. I did get in summer 2013. Cube number 21. Really pretty, but whatever. Got this in 2013. This is a pyramorphix, and it took me like 45 minutes to solve before because I don't know. I couldn't figure it out then. That was not really scary. That was like four moves, but I can solve it easily now. It's just a two by two shape mod. I couldn't really understand it that much then. It was a big challenge for me then. My after I solved it the one time in 2013, my friend David who now keeps, um, he mixed it up right after I solved it, and I got so mad because it's annoying because I it took me for to solve, but now. It's 22. Q number 3 is the land land 2 by 2. Whoa. Which is good except for the fact that the cat sometimes pop off. Yeah, that's the only problem with this cube. I think if you would glue the caps on, but I don't really use this that much. I got this in Spring Craig with one of my big orders. 
um, like big cubicle order. I have had many parts on my channel of the video I had for this, but um, it came in that, and it was one of the first big, uh, uh, cubes I unboxed, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, you can go check that out if you want. It's in March. I think the, oh no, it was just, that was on a text message. Um, but yeah, that would be cube number 23, I think. I'm pretty sure. Because that was 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20. 23. Okay, next cube is the Landland Kirby Copter. So, um, this is, I traded um, a, a, a QJ, pure, a QJ Mega Minx in exchange for this. So, <coughs> I originally had two QJ uh, Mega Minxes that I'll tell you about, which I'll tell you about right now. I got them both in 2013. I ordered one, they gave me two, and I only ordered one. So that was pretty cool. It was from Amazon. And this is the Kirby Copter. I've solved it multiple times, but I don't remember how to solve it because it's been very long. As you can see, it does jumble. Like this, you can see. And cube number 24. And here is cube number 25. This is a, this might, it was almost like my main for a little bit, it's a G 2x2, the bad one, yeah. um, and what happened to it is that a corner piece uh, stock broke, so, and uh, since I got this from Speedcube Shop, they gave me like a, a return to get another cube, so that's when I got the white Diane cube, it's not David's. Really tell much about this performance without that cube, but it was still pretty good anyway. And something about it is, I did get this in with the big cube order. I'm pretty sure I might have gotten in another one. I think I got in the big cube order. So yeah, the chi two by two. One from um, I think I got in the big cube order from March. I'm saying. Okay, so this is the cubix tube. I actually have two more cubic tubes, I'm pretty sure, that I have not opened. Because want someone else, I think they didn't want, because this, I got this from, um, what's it called? <coughs> uh, the competition in April, oh, Spring Scramble. Um, everyone got this, so one was left behind, and I think someone else didn't want them, so that's why I have two more. So, that should add up some more cubes, but, um, I'm not, that doesn't count for right now, just all the ones that I talk about holding the cube, that's when they are counted. My current cube connection, not all the cubes I've ever had, also, so those QJs don't count, because they're technically an exchange for this one and another cube. <coughs> this only is in exchange for one QJ Megamix. So this um, is a quad cube. Um, it kind of got mixed up, uh, but I can solve it pretty easily. Just has that one cube that isn't solved. It's just really annoying to turn. So yeah, here, two, two, this used to be a very annoying and hard to solve. When I first got this in, I think, 2013, it might have been 2014, though, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but yeah, it's on my channel, I have an unboxing of this on my channel, I'm pretty sure it was 2013, though. Next is the Rubik's Twist, I think I got this for Christmas 2013, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it, you can make all sorts of things in it, but uh, I'll show you the objective of this, it's very simple. What you need to do is to put it into a, a type of cube like the cube right now. It's very simple. I haven't done this in a long time yet, so I'm pretty sure I'm using this. You just kind of make like these things as centers and like, kind of put like edges, cut the things down. That would be uh, one of the players. Just keep doing this until it's all done. You can 
can do this with uh, black centers and red and uh, what centers? Black centers and gray centers. So both. See now, he's on its regular form. Yeah, it's the Rubik's twist. <coughs> this is an old Shang Chao cube that I, uh, is not mine. Oh, it wasn't originally mine. I traded the, that first QJ uh, Mega Minx. The first time I traded one was for this at For the Love of Cubing 2015. My first competition. Well, I also forgot to say about this. I got, I traded for that, I think April, maybe March, but, uh, this, um, this was, a this, oh yeah, I did get it, that, I love keeping, Shane Shell, very free with, uh, really old stickers, yeah, and here's this cube, this is uh, the Q4 rifle, my first one I got, 2013. It was like $26 or something. So that's how I was like, that's crazy. So yeah, this is the one that's the most broken and nice. I think that this is my main for a little while. It didn't matter though, this fiddle, because I pillow because there's no competitions in Florida and never was until I stopped keeping. This cube is missing some centers and stuff, that's why these ones were in them, some caps and stuff. But, um, I don't really mind anymore, because I have more Fisher cubes. <coughs> so yeah, this is my first Fisher cube, I think from, I remember getting this out. I ordered it right on, like, Christmas, and then it got here, like, on Christmas 2013, uh, from money I got from Christmas, and it got here. On um, right, and I, I came back. And I might have ordered on the 26th. But, um, and I got here right when we got back from our, uh, Colorado, which I go to after Christmas. So yeah, YJ Fisher Cube. I ended up coming when I came back from our vacation. It was 2014, so early 2014. This is the Shang Shao um, Master Morphix. Right? That's what it's called. Yeah, that's what it's called. A uh, 3x3 three three, um, shape mod. And I got this. When did I get this? I cannot think of it. I think I got this Christmas 2015. I might be wrong. Pretty sure then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's when I got it. Very sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty. Yeah, that's definitely that's when I got it. One of the stickers got like move over here. This is a master scoop. <coughs> I've attempted to solve this, but I've not been successful. I think it's similar to a Rex cube, which I've solved many times. <coughs> I don't mind, don't remember how to do it anymore. But I have not solved this, and I probably don't really care to. Oh, there's a funny little story I want to tell you about the cube. This cube. Uh, where is it? Can't, oh, can't even find it. Oh, right here. Uh, when I saw it on, like, Red KB's channel, I always thought, like, if you have it like this, it has to be able to turn like this. I'm like, people just don't get it. They're not trying hard enough or something like that. I'm just, I was really stupid, I guess. It kind of makes sense how it could do that. I mean, that would be cool if they made something like that could do that. That'd be very hard to do, though. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I got this Christmas 2013. I got this. This is a... Um, uh, something like... Um, I forgot something gear cube thing. 
uh, I thought it was like a master gear cube or something like that. I can't remember exactly the name. If you know the name of this, uh, just leave it down in the comment section. I can't remember the exact name. I know it's on Red, Red KB's channel. Um, it, I was going to leave it sold, but I accidentally mixed it up. And I got through like the first few steps where you get these little things and the corners. And then I was trying to get the centers where I got. Uh, but I ended up getting like at some points I got like four of the centers, but then that was it. But it's a very difficult puzzle to solve. This is also on Twisty Puzzles channel. This is a dollar store three that I'm pretty sure I got in 2013. It's pretty much crap. I was, trying, I was gonna try to make a mod out of this in another one, but it ended up not working out. I was gonna make a sign music. Uh, cube out of them, but like a really nice one, nice one out of bad cubes, because I was going to waste these, but it ended up not working out, so yeah, not that I'm not going to with that cube yet, um, and this cube, this is a land land edges only void cube, I think, yeah, I got this Christmas 2013, along with a bunch of other cubes I got then, um, this is pretty cool. It's basically, it kind of, the only downside of it is because it hurts your fingers when you try to turn it. At first, I thought this was a dino cube when I first got it. But, um, oh yeah, I think that I got this dino cube after. I'm pretty sure it was after Christmas, because I got this one, I'm thinking it was a dino cube. <coughs> yeah. So it's basically like a 3x3, three three without the corners. But it's an edges only boy. And also, it does hurt your fingers, I have to say. There's some V-Cube 7. This was this came in the collection I got in 2013 for Christmas. Yeah, and it's pretty much the worst 7x7 seven seven on the market by far. Definitely the worst 7x7 seven seven on the market. Actually, second worst, because why can't why is 7 by 7 is terrible. I've never used it, but I know. I just know. Trust me. So this is the key, the key for you. 3x3x4, three by three by which I think I also got Christmas Eve 2013. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I got it. Um, this cube. This is a YJ windmill cube that's missing one cap right there. And it has textured stickers. It's really nice. First, I thought they were tiles. They're actually just stickers. And this cube, uh, when did I get this? I think I got this during. When was it? I think during January or February or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got this during January this year. 2016. This is an Axis Cube that I got, I think 2014, <coughs> early 2014, sometime then, maybe even April or something. The problem that I'm not sure when I stopped cubing is because I stopped making cubing videos on my channel in March, but I didn't stop till later 2014. I don't know why I stopped making videos. Just because I didn't have new puzzles, but I never made reviews or stuff. There's so much things that I did so bad then. Uh, this is the, um, uh, what type of cube is YJ? No, I don't think so. I don't know what brand it is, but it's a, and it is an Axis cube. <coughs> so this is a Rex cube. I got 2013, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Christmas also. So yeah. I saw this many times, I just haven't seen my stuff mixed up now. Uh, I might be able to figure it out, but I might need a Created by Cubers tutorial link, because I haven't watched that store in a long time. But yeah. Uh, True it is 2x2x3. Two by two by I think I got this early 2014, I would have to say. Maybe 2013, I'm not sure. You can check back on my channel, I have an unboxing just on my channel. And this is probably easy to take apart, because just doing that, it just and pop out the corner. It is a pretty easy puzzle to solve, but I never restickered it to make my color scheme. I didn't really mind too much 
It's pretty simple. Yeah. Here is a Rubik's brand keychain that came with like another cube. I think it might have came with the the um quad cube or something like that. <coughs> I remember I did take an edge out and then I had to put it back in. It was so hard. Just because it's Rubik's brand. Such a terrible turn cube. Yeah. I got that in 2013, I'm very sure. Um, oh yeah, this is, um, the first cube I, uh, these two cubes were both traded for a QJ. This is the other cube that came with that. That's why it made more sense to trade that. Because this and 357 came with it also. That pops quite a bit, though, but it's not, like, terribly terrible. So I got this February 13th for the love of Cuban 2016. I'll put that right there. Here's the M&M &M, small cube it got at the same time. Never I think 2013 or 14 when I got this cube. <coughs> Just a smaller version of that cube with I think slightly different colors, different like some places like different things on it. And not slightly smaller, it's way smaller. Um, here's a Rubik's Grand 3 or 3 that I've never opened. Yeah, tape's still sealed. I think still sealed. I've never opened this before. Um, so I think I got this 2013 or 14 or something. I just never opened it. I wanted to keep it sealed. Maybe it'll be worth money someday. Um, in here, in a wheat, wheat eating box, I do have an Eastern 4x4. I started keeping it out of the box because this is so old that the centers keep popping up when I'm trying to solve it. Um, it, uh, it is the first 4x4 I got in 2013 summer. Yeah. It's so terrible now. I don't even want to eat. I'm going to put it back in that box, though. That's my only Ishin. Actually, these are made out of Ishin tattoos. Oh, this is by far the worst forward for Worse than that. Rubik's brand 4x4. Four four. Oh my gosh. This is such a Oh my gosh. Every hue, every time it just keeps trying to lock up terribly. This is the, definitely the worst 4x4 four four, like, ever. Well, I mean, like, not produced. Probably the worst. It's terrible. It's ran 4x4. Now, for a cube, it's even worse than that. Rubik's Brand 5x5. I personally think this is the worst cube ever mass produced. Actually, it might be a close tie with the um, uh, QJ Super Square one. But this turn is so terrible. The outer layers are so. Gosh, this is hurt. My, it hurt my hand so much when I did a 235 Rubik's Run relay solving this. It was terrible. Oh my gosh, I hated that so much. Here's a, it's called like a cheese cube or something like that. Um, I don't remember what it's made by, but I've never solved it. It's pretty difficult. It's similar to a Rubik's PFO, but whenever the tutorial, tutorials I've used, it does not work. So yeah, I've never solved this before. One of my only cubes I've never solved. Well, this is another one. This is another one. But there, um, those, yeah, in this one. So out of the four cubes that I have so far in my in my collection video that I've not solved, some of like this cube it isn't solved. It just happens to not be solved. This isn't solved. It just happens to not be solved. But I've solved it before. <coughs> so here's um the pillow V. VQ2, which is pretty terrible, and I think I took this underwater. Yeah, this is the one I took underwater, so it's even more terrible, but it's bad anyway. It's called a VQ2B. Uh, this is um, the pillow 3x3 that I also got 2013 Christmas, along with the rest of the, um, the uh, collection. And this isn't as good as my other one because it's not as broken and I barely solved it. I'm almost done with this bag and then I have two more bags. Actually, three. But they're not like the same size. They're different. 
amounts of cubes. So this, wait, this isn't in there yet. This is the uh, three by three by two pie cube, which I think I got for 2013 Christmas also. So yeah, I think 2013 Christmas, I basically just got a bunch of cubes and that's it. I'm very sure. I was very obsessed with cubing then. It's just a notification. Okay, so yeah. So that, like right there. And this is a 3x3x2 three three that happens to not be solved right now. I've solved it many times before. It just happens to not be solved. I'm just saying random moves right now. And I got this. I think 2013 sometime from Speed Keep Shop. There's a Speed Keep Shop logo on it. I use Speed Keep Shop all the time. Man, I didn't even know what the cube hole was. I just knew about Speed Keep Shop. Okay, this is not a cube, but it's still pretty cool. It's really cool. Um, it's really nice to side this one flaw. <coughs> where the, these were connected together. I was going to cut it apart, but I just never got to fully doing that. So it says SMH cube on it. I 3D printed it with a 3D printer in my school last year in like February. I printed it, but I like designed it in like January. And so yeah, the first time it came out, something was like wrong with it, so I had to like fix it a little bit. But it says SMH cuber, and then there's a Rubik's cube right here, sticking out. Not just like drawing of it; it's an actual. It doesn't actually turn though, but you know what I mean. That would be very difficult to create if I didn't assemble it. I just like create it like that. Even if I, uh, it was disassembled, it would be very difficult to create. So yeah, that's that. It's not a cube. So I can't count in my collection. Here is the called Kong's Design Mayu. So this four by four isn't too good, but it's not like terrible. It did pop and explode all over the place when I was at IHOP. In March, I think during spring break, then I came back and I uh, I did have to reassemble it and everything. It was on a Sunday actually, and yeah, but I did. Was I talking about when I got these things? I got this. I think sometime in 2013 or 14. I don't remember exactly. Um, what about this cube I had? Hmm, it was the last cube. It was just. That and sit down. Sat down. Can't think of it, but hopefully I said when I got it. So yeah, this is the Kong Design Mayu. And I got it in the big cubicle unboxing. I mean the speed cube shop unboxing, sorry. I think I was talking about that big cubicle unboxing for all of those that I did in March. No, um uh the big unboxing was the big speed cube shop unboxing. I also did have a big cubicle unboxing, it just wasn't as big, I don't think. I had a I had a big cubicle unboxing actually in spring break, but this is the I think there's there's this other big one that was during the beginning of the March that was speed cube shop. So I might have been mixing that up so you can go <coughs> see my other videos of speed cube shop unboxing. This is a Moyu Diamo that I got in the big speed cube shop unboxing. Uh, it's a pretty good cube besides the fact of this the layer is very small. I've heard people say this is a crappy version of the Way Long, but I've never, um, I don't, it's, I think I have never tried an actual, like, Way Long, like a Moyu Way Long version 1 or something like that. Um, I, I hope to try one, I just don't have one. Maybe eventually I'll get it, but I, yeah, where you die, Emma. Shang Shao 2x2 that I got in Shang Shao 235 unboxing <coughs> 2013. It's my main for quite a while. <laughs> Over the Dian 2x2. I don't know why, I just I didn't make it that much. It's very weird. Um, uh, that's came out of something else. Here's a ghost cube that I'm pretty sure is unsolvable because I couldn't. I got this Christmas Eve 2015 and I couldn't solve it, and then um, I couldn't figure out how to do it because I mixed it up before I found the layer that was 
one you misaligned, and then I couldn't um do the what then could I not do? Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't do. Uh, so I had to take it apart and then try to put it together, and I still couldn't do it. So pretty much unsolvable. Pretty sure. Very difficult to solve. Probably. Solve. And in here is. Uh, Moyu Megamorphics made out of an Alsi. <coughs> so I have solved this like one or twice, once or twice, when I got this. I was supposed to come for Christmas Eve, but it didn't get here uh, until um until until oh yeah, right after uh, I got back from my vacation. So I got this in the beginning of 2016. Uh, 2015 Christmas Eve. So, uh, and this I got this from my aunt. And it's pretty nice. I'll keep it on here because I think I got stick or like a, I had to glue a piece back on or something because it popped off and snapped. So I had to glue it back together. So I keep it in here so I don't lose it. Here's a four x four mix-up cube that I mixed up and I've never solved before. So yeah, I'll probably never solve it. Like that's the fifth cube. Never solved before. <coughs> My collection that I've shown you so far. So yeah. Oh the Wit Eden and I got this for my birthday also this year, 2016. Um, here's the Sudoku cube that I think I got also for Christmas two thousand. Um, maybe I got it from like a store. Oh yeah, I got this from a store at one point, I think two thousand thirteen, maybe two thousand fourteen though. And I could never solve it. It was so hard. The super cube. Yeah, and it doesn't also doesn't turn too well. Um here's a cube that I tried to do the mod with the other one on. And like this corner broke and stuff. So yeah, just missing a corner. Alright, this is another brown star cube that I got into like 2013 or 14 or something like that. So yeah. This is a green chi chi I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. It's the newer Feng Shi 2x2 two two that I got on Christmas 2015. It's okay. I think it's like way too fast. Back. So, the problem with it, it's not like terribly terrible. I would never make my name though. Okay, and then this cube. This is a for you through a 3x5 that I have in here. <coughs> yeah, it. Uh, I think I got it uh, Christmas 2015. Thir no, 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 sorry. That was a big lie. Christmas 2013. Oh, I meant 13, but I said 15. So yeah, I keep it in here because the caps pop off pretty often. This is, uh, no, you Huan Wong. Keys. Don't know what the uh, difference between the Mo Yu Huan Long and Huan Long is. I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, wait. Wait, I, I accidentally put that back in. Um, I'm pretty sure that's for the wall. I always called it the wall, but I don't know why it says one wall. Um, I'll check that later. But um, here's a cubicle square. I mean, not a cubicle. Just a um, Calvin's square too. <coughs> Got this in March for my birthday from my friend Jordan. And I solved it multiple times. It does seem to pop and get locked up often though. So that's an issue. I have a funny story that that does not necessarily involve this cube, but when I hold this, it reminded me. And um, Memorial Day weekend in 2000, this past year, 2016, the year we're in, um, we went to uh, Cocoa Beach. We used to have a condo there, but we don't have any more, so we stayed at this like hotel-like thing. Not really. No, not a hotel. It was like a similar to that, but not really. So basically, you just stay in that room, like a rent. We rented it out. 
for a weekend, and I was on there, on the edge, I was solving this cube on the balcony, and then later I was solving the tangle on which I made on the balcony, and the cube, the one of the pieces popped off, and we were on like the third story, and it fell down, and I ran down the stairs and went out to the front area and got it. It was just sitting right there. That scared me though. But yeah, this cube. Cube of thousand square two. Thousand square two. This is a, ma um, a Rubik's Magic that I've never solved because when I first got it, I tried to like mix it up and then I can't undo it and put it in the right place, so I never learned how to actually solve it. So I can't get it to that original state. I've tried everything, the tutorials and everything, and tried my hardest to try to get to the original state when it has the three rings. Still haven't gotten anywhere though. So yeah, there's that. Right there. I went down onto my keyboard. And according to my the other angle is from my computer. Okay. Here's some cute side that I made. <coughs> Here is a 1 by 1 by 3 that I created in 2013. Wait, what cube was I just showing you? Was I talking about when I got it? Hopefully. Oh, yeah, I did. Um, so. This is is the um, a one by one by three I made out of like this in 2013, and it's very difficult to solve. No, I'm just joking. It's very easy. You really only have to turn two pieces to do it. You can do it basically in one motion. Let's say like I add this, um, add this, just do that. Solved. <coughs> So I'm just going to be putting this back in my bag. Remember, as I take them out, that is one cube itself. In itself, that is one cube. This is, uh, cube number two is right here. Uh, we're, we're excited to come on. So yeah, um, here is a stickerless one by one by four. This one side turns really slow and then these two turn pretty fast so the way you know they're solved is if all the these are lined up that's the only problem is that that part that is very stiff so you can't really do it really fast so it just takes like that it's like this you just go like that you know pretty simple created with windows 2013. So here is a 1 by 1 by 2 that I created in 2013 with uh, stickers from some of uh, Shangsha. <coughs> uh, like a Shangsha 7x7 replacement stickers, I think, on here. So yeah, just just solve it in one turn. And R2 or R and R prime is the only possible solutions. I mean, you could also do L, but still, um, it doesn't matter. Matter. There's only like, there's only like, there's only three possible combinations. So like this, the, the longest solve you could get is R prime. It's actually four because solve state is a combination. So here is finally the one by one. I made another one by one by for my. Like, I have another one by one that I had given to my friend. The original one I made, which was out of some Ishin stickers. These have some Ishin stickers, but the other one did. <coughs> this one, um, instead of the pink Ishin, which I originally had on my other one by one by one I originally created, this has a paper with orange I colored on, and then a Rubik's Grand logo. So it's the one by one. Any more cubes in here? in this bag, pretty sure. Um, so, yeah. 
that is it for this first part of my 3x3 Rubik's Cube collection video.